John from ChinaSpeak.com, I grabbed Warder Myers on his way in or out. I don't know why you're up here a flash, man. I, I gotta be where I gotta be here at our pro. I, I know, I'm John is beat for our pro to draw the line. I'm, I'm grabbing Warden Myers. Warden Myers. Yes. First and foremost, yeah. you're the manager of the stars. You've done it all. Yeah. I always try to do something a little different with you. Yeah. Give me your top four tag teams of all time. Well, I, I have to say this. Growing up, greatest tag team of all time. You pretty much laid the foundation of every tag team. The Road Warriors. They won the George belts. They won the... NWA, AWA belts, two different versions. They had uh, belts made. You had the NWA six man. You had the international belts. You had the WCW NWA belts. You had the WWF belts. You know, AWA championship. You had six different championships. The Crockett Cup. I mean, they won the Crockett Cup for being the best tag team in that first ever Crockett Cup. Plus, their last tag team championship before. You know, on their 20 year anniversary was for pro championship wrestling. So they well, held well. seven different championships with Paul Ellerich. Who else? Let's see. Give me, give me number, number two, you have to give it to the Dudleys. You want to give it to a team that has sustained time over it. Interesting. They've won all the different championships because they want to say they're the greatest tag team. But you have to give it to the first team that kind of laid the foundation. Plus, things were different back then. Com guys didn't jump from company to company to company and have a chance to get a belt. So when you think of the Road Warriors as the greatest tag team with Paul Allering, who got paid as a manager to walk down the aisle $250,000. Then you had the Dudley Boys, who went from ECW, WCW, all these different things to win the championships there. Then I have to say other tag teams, you have to talk about innovators, you have to talk about the Heart Foundation, you have to talk about Express. Of everything that I become to bring I laid down the foundation. See, Red is retired. P.L. Myers managed the road wars. P.L. Myers beat up Bobby Heenan with his own damn book in his throat. A guy had throat cancer. I've done it all. And you know what? Just because of Sultan. And remember, who was the first ever manager of the R Pro Tag Team Champions? Me. So keep that in mind. Look, you, my friend, I like your headline. It's fading away. You know what? And there's me. There's and you. therefore, you know, there's a fine you, know, you can do what you need to do. Okay. But when it's all said and done, I hit the last R Pro champ tag team champions, and I will have a R Pro heavyweight champ. You know what? You can well you get said it. Now you got ex convicts running around. Well, ex convicts. I gotta go job. I, I have to leave right now because my wallet I left and oh my god, you got convicts. Oh my God, really? I probably won't have a wallet. Well, if they wanted to get debit cards, they'll come get your wallet. Well, he is a so US veteran. We have to give him respect. I will give respect to C-Red for that part of his okay. career. But as a manager, P.L. Myers doesn't play more games here in our pro. P.L. Myers, the greatest manager of all time, came to me and wrote the forward in my book. Not C-Red's book. P.L. Myers managed the Road Warriors in Chicago. One of three ever managers. Fat. I got Jim Cornette to come out of retirement to manage against me. Fat. So is someone carrying the torch for all the greatest managers of all time? Yeah, I'm the last of the male managers that carries that torch. Now, great, I'm not an advocate like Paul Heyman. I'm not like a ring announcer. I'm a manager. And you know what? That's what I do. All the great managers I've met, I've talked to, someone's got to carry the torch. So going back to the tag team, before I was rudely interrupted, Road Warriors, back, what they've done. You got to give it to the Dudleys. I think you have to also look at the Hart Foundation as far as what they did, you know, innovators as far as a unique team together, but you know, also look at the Midnight Express. Look at what they've set for. So there's like four teams just right there. But I mean, you could go to back to the Crusher and the Bruiser, you could go to the different tag teams, but as far as tag teams, because most tag teams nowadays are thrown together, but as guys that really are a cohesive unit that know what they're doing. So that's about four teams. And, you know, the Steiners, they think of it too. You know, there's so many great tag teams, but I think really the top ones set a standard, and I think that's what they have to do. That's why I picked your brain. You're yeah. man. You know it. So what other questions do you have for me? That's all I really had. I mean, You're not going to ask about tonight? Tonight, my guy, Remy Wilkins, is going to take care of some, I don't know, flash in the pan guy we beat up before. What's his name? Scotty whatever? Scott Young. Scott Young, I guess. That, that's what we'll, well do. he's not really a flash in the pan. Well, he's he might be up and cover. Uh, well, you know what? Upper half is upper covers. See, even the garbage man is taking Scotty Young's career out. Because hey, that's what's going to happen. Because think of it this way. Nobody in our pro 
is the true guy to get the job done. P.L. Myers doesn't walk there. I'm not here to shake hands, kiss babies. You know, I don't shake weights and you know, you know, like body magic. You know, being the face of our pro. Which, hey, God bless them. Let them be the John Cena, Hulk Hogan of this company. But when you come down to someone that you cannot stand, it's not being cocky. It's being convinced. So I walked to that ring every night carrying the torch for all the great managers that came before him. I carried for all those veterans because my dad was in the Navy, so I respect what they do. But tonight, unfortunately, I'm going to get a few people upset because I have to tell you how the other side, the other side of the coin of how America has treated my guy. America might be the greatest country and we got the greatest veterans on the planet. Fact. But tonight, you're going to hear another side, how America has let down my guy. Ward Myers, failure is not an option. Failure is not an option tonight, and, and, our, and all the stuff that Steve read about, I'm going to be a champion, I'm going to have my own belt, blah, 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 blah. You know what? Those who can, can. Those who can't, critique. You heard it from Ward Myers.